James, a simple question is, how do you guys fix some of the issues and woes that you've had over the last few years? Yeah, I think um, first and most importantly, starting fast. Uh, I think this is very important, something we haven't done. We haven't been able to establish the run game and keep a balanced attack. I think early in games, it's been a lot of short gain, no gain, short gain, no gain. Now we're third and eight, right? And uh, that's always a advantageous spot for the defense to be in. And so we've got to understand how to fix that. And uh, that's what we've been attacking this week in practice is just going out and, you know, those first reps uh, against the defense, against the scout team, going out and having an intention of, hey, this first play needs to be a great play. And then coming back to the huddle, hey, this second play needs to be a great play. And I think that takes a little more um, maybe time in the playbook and the game plan, understanding exactly the looks we're going to get and the, the plays we're going to run and knowing exactly how to block them so we can go execute that with aggressiveness and physicality instead of kind of sitting and waiting and, and feeling out, if you will. James, has it been surprising that, I guess, the consistency and the, the, the chemistry, I would say, hasn't been where you thought it would be? You know, yeah, percent? it's definitely been disappointing. Uh, it's not been up to our standard, that's for sure. Um, I think the standard of offensive line play here the last I don't know, five, seven years has been very high, and that's something that we want to keep going. Um, so we've been disappointed. We feel like we have not performed to the level that we're capable of performing. So that's a challenge to us, and that's you know something that we just have to own. And, and we know that we've been a part of our offensive struggles, and we have to take that and, and run with it and, and attack that. I, I'm sure you don't, if it's either Carr or if it's Winston starting, I'm sure for you guys the most important thing is is keeping those sacks, you know, low because I mean, yeah. two three games is probably not where you guys. Yeah, play. any quarterback, uh, you look at high pressure numbers, it's harder to perform under pressure, and our job is literally to make sure there's no pressure. So um, we haven't been doing our job well enough, and we know that. And regardless of quarterback, we know that if we can keep them clean, they're more than capable of, you know, making their reads, going through the reads. And obviously, we have the playmakers, especially getting AK back. We have the playmakers to make plays, so we just got to give them time. Just having just having that running back come here, is that? help the offensive line in, in some way in terms of just keeping the defense a little more honest. Absolutely. Um, he's a person that you have to game plan for. Uh, you have to understand where he is all over the field every single play because he's a guy that's you know going to break a tackle and he's a threat to score six every time he touches the ball. And uh, defenses know that and uh, we're grateful to have him. He's one of the best in the league at his position. Um, so anytime you have a player like that on the field, uh, you got to take advantage of him and um, we know that you know we just got to give him a look, give him a chance, give him to the second level and he'll make things happen.